Curtis, Curtis, a counseling professor and licensed clinical mental health counselor. Just wanted to talk about briefly and hopefully practically what construct validity is. This term always confused me. And construct validity is, is really validity per se. And what it means is it's an accumulation of evidence saying that the test that we have created is measuring what we purport it to measure. And so the word construct, which was confusing to me, means we are in psychological, uh, a lot of the psychological theories and so forth, we have to construct a definition of what we're wanting to measure. And so, for example, theoretical concepts that we have to construct a definition for would be resilience, uh, psychopathy, happiness, even personality. And when I say construct a definition, let's say you want to measure the resilience of your clients as they go through sessions. So when they come in and they're very distressed, you want to measure their resilience levels and hopefully see that it increases throughout counseling. Well, you've got to construct a definition in order to measure it of resilience, because what is that? Is that grit? Is it growth mindset? Is it post-traumatic growth? So you have to get into the literature to determine and, and, and support the questions that you're going to ask in the literature. So then we have, let's say we're constructing that definition. We're figuring out what questions we're going to ask in order to measure the construction of that test. And uh, what we might do is it's an accumulation of evidence to figure out if we actually have, uh, if this test is valid. So we may use face validity. And for one of those, we may say, um, we're gonna send this out to experts in resilience. And we've got maybe five experts that have just published a lot of things. And we send this out to them and say, hey, we want you to take a look at each question and let us know which ones seem to be measuring resilience and which ones we may need to revise. You take that information back and then make adjustments as needed to determine face validity. The two most common that are reported to determine validity um, are convergent validity, meaning my test on resilience, does that correlate positively with another test, establish test that measures resilience as well? So what we would do is you'd take your new resilience test and then an established resilience test that's out there with plenty of validity data backing it up. And you would give this to a large diverse sample. You'd give both of them to a large diverse sample and then correlate this. And you would hope to see a positive correlation between these cause they're measuring the same construct, the same definition. We also see a uh, divergence. So you would expect that this test is going to um, uh, differ with a disparate uh, construct. So for so, let's say with resilience, we may give our new test with a hopelessness measure uh, or test. So we've got a large diverse sample. We give them our resilience test and we give them a test on hopelessness. And we would hope there would be a negative correlation between those two tests. No, I haven't gone into the literature to see that, but I suspect there is a negative correlation between those two, and that would be divergent validity. And so ultimately with construct validity, we are constructing a definition, and then it's an accumulation of evidence that supports that this test is actually valid for what we say it's uh, measuring. All right, so I hope that's helpful, and we will talk to you soon on the next video. Take care.